Welcome to the mathematics class of Mr. Larry Whittington. Stay tuned as Mr. Whit get on here today and speak to us about fractions. I hope you figure to understand what he gonna teach. Get your ink pen and your pencil out your calculator and get ready to learn something from Mr. Whittington Fort Bend Tutoring. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial is about adding mixed numbers. Let's take a look at it. In problem number one we have three and one seventh plus six and five sevenths. And any time I'm adding mixed numbers, I always like to write them vertically. All right, so notice that they're writing this horizontally. Mm -hmm. No, I don't do it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this as six and five sevenths plus three and one seventh. Now, you don't have to put the bigger number on top, but that's just my preference. So that's what you'll see me doing in this video here. The first thing you want to pay attention to is the fractions, ladies and gentlemen, the fraction part of your mixed numbers. You want to ensure that they have a common denominator, that that bottom number is the same. And in this case, we do have common denominators. So that means we can go ahead and add the numerators together. So adding 5 plus 1 will always give me 6 and then that will remain over that same denominator of 7. The denominator doesn't change when you're adding fractions. Then I'll be adding the whole numbers. I'll have 3 plus 6 which is 9 so my result will be 9 and 6 sevenths and that's the answer. What you want to make sure when getting your answer in any of these problems, ladies and gentlemen, is that your fraction is always simplified and that you have a proper fraction, meaning that the number in the numerator is smaller than the one in the denominator. You're never going to have a mixed number that also contains an improper fraction, meaning that the number on top is bigger than the one on the bottom. You never want to do that. So this is our result here, 9 and 6 sevenths, and that's problem number 1. All right, let's check out problem number 2 now. In problem number two, we have three and seven eighths plus four and five eighths. So once again, I want to make sure that my fractions have a common denominator. And they do. So go ahead and just add the numerators together. So seven plus five will give me 12 over the denominator of eight. And then I have three plus four, which is always seven. So I need to take care of two things in this problem. The first thing I need to take care of is the fact that my fraction is not simplified. I know that both 12 and 8 can be reduced by 4. So by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 4, I end up with 7 and 3 halves. Okay? Just like that. Then, we're not going to leave an improper fraction in our mixed number. So I'll have my whole number 7 plus 2 goes into 3 once, and I'm left with 1 over. Remember, if you need to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number, go ahead and check out our video, Converting Mixed Numbers and Improper Fractions. Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, I just had 2 going into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2, and that left me with a remainder of 1, which goes in the numerator over the divisor of 2, and that's how I ended up with this value right here, that 1 and a half. From there, you're going to add 7 plus 1 to give you a result of 8 and a half, which is our answer to this problem. All right? So, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we had a result of 7 and 12 eighths. However, we had to simplify this first by 4 to get 7 and 3 halves, and then we had to get rid of this improper fraction by converting 3 halves into the mixed number 1 and a half. From there, you can add 7 plus 1 to give you your result of 8 and a half, which is the answer to the problem. All right, that was problem number 2. Next up. In problem number three, we have four and one twelfth plus two and three eighths. So what I want to do in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, is first of all, I want to write it vertically. So I'm going to rewrite this as four and one twelfth plus two and three eighths. I'll need to be concerned about the denominators of my fractions because they're not the same. So in order to get the same denominator, I need to look for the lowest common denominator, the first number that 8 and 12 will go into evenly. If you look at the multiples of 12, we know that 12 times 2 is 24, so that's going to be our LCD because 8 goes into 24 evenly. If you need help finding your lowest common denominator, ladies and gentlemen, please check out our video finding the LCM and LCD. All right, I'll put a link right down here. So the first number that 12 and 8 can go into evenly, that's 24. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 with denominators of 24 in both of my fractions. All right, so you're going to 
have denominators of 24 here and we'll need to get equivalent fractions so 12 was multiplied how many times to get 24 what's that you say two that's exactly right very good so I'm gonna multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 so whatever you had to multiply your original denominator by you also have to multiply your numerator by in order to get what is called an equivalent fraction so 12 times 2 is 24 and 1 times 2 is 2 then we multiplied 8 how many times to get 24 did you say 3 then you were right so it was 8 times 3 to give us 24 so 3 times 3 that gives me 9 so now that I have my equivalent fractions which contain common denominators, I can go ahead and add the numerators finally. So 2 plus 9 gives me 11 over my denominator of 24, and I'm going to add 4 plus 2 together to give me 6. I'm going to look to see if I can simplify this any further, and I can't. And I also want to make sure that my fraction is a proper fraction, and it is. So that means that this is my answer, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Done and done. That was problem number three. All right, moving along. We have four and three eighths plus six and five twelfths. Once again, you always want to have a common denominator before you do anything else. So what's the first number that eight and 12 can go into evenly? You guessed it, 24. So I have four with a denominator of 24 here. I also have six with a denominator of 24 here as well. All right, so what happens next? We need to get equivalent fractions. So 8 was multiplied 3 times to get 24, so 3 times 3 gives me 9. 12 was multiplied twice, so 5 times 2 gives me a result of 10. And then I'll go ahead and add my numerators together. 9 plus 10 is always 19 over the denominator of 24 in this case. And 4 plus 6 is always 10. We can't simplify this result, so that's my answer. Done and done, ladies and gentlemen. That was problem number four. All right, next problem. In problem number five, we have 18 and 4 fifths plus 2 and 7 tenths. So once again, I need to get a common denominator first. The first number that 5 and 10 will be able to go into evenly is 10. So I'm going to rewrite this with denominators of 10, just like so. All right. We had to multiply 5 2 times in order to get 10. So 4 times 2 gives me a new numerator. That's 8. 10 I already had the same denominator I needed. So if you wanted to, you can say 10 times 1 and 7 times 1 to give you 7 here. Or you can just bring it over, which is what I normally do. From here, I'll be adding the numerators together. So 8 plus 7 is 15 over the denominator of 10. And 18 plus 2 is always 20. However, we are not stopping here because the 15 and the 10 can both be reduced by 5. So simplifying both of these numbers by 5, you end up with 20 and 3 halves. Once again, this 3 halves needs to be converted into a mixed number. So I'll be adding 20 plus, remember this 2 will go into 3 one time, and 1 times 2 is 2 with a remainder of 1 to give me 1 and a half as a result here. So this is 20 plus 1 and a half, and adding these two values together, 20 plus 1 is 21, and I'll bring down my 1 half to give me a result of 21 and a half and done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to complete this tutorial on adding mixed numbers. This is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Oh, Lord, there's so many kind of fractions. They got proper, improper, addings, subtracting, multiply, dividing, mixed numbers, LCD. Oh, that's like my TV. Simplifying, and my favorite of all, your least common denominator. <laughs> <laughs>